Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For our longtime listeners, you know what time it is. But for our new listeners, it's time to go to work. Jerk of all trades podcast. Ray, tell me something good. It's episode seven. And the jerk of all trades podcast is fucking launching into the stratosphere. What's up, guys? Things are getting fucking heated here and they're getting better every fucking week and we have an absolutely jam-packed show for you yes sir yes sir we uh, are locked and loaded a lot this of week. fun topics a lot of fun topics so. ray what's going on with the my blowjob robot oh my god uh, for, for our new <laughs> listeners that don't know arlen robotics is Ar- killing the game right now with their blowjob robots Ar- arlen robotics is going to bring you what you have always wanted but you <laughs> never wanted to admit that you wanted and that is the blowjob robot where, so, where are we sitting at right now so, well last week we were at what five thousand nine hundred I, I think we we're about fifty eight hundred okay um which i've actually now been uh, told by uh, people is actually british pounds yes. so i'm uh, i've been a moron for like uh i don't know two weeks or my lifetime but I- i've known that forever <laughs> No. <laughs> I don't think he did actually, but uh, anyway, yeah. So, so today, they, they as missed. of Thursday night, we are sitting at uh, we're sixing we're we're sitting at uh, sixty four thirty two uh, British pounds. Um, it is out of a goal of uh, twelve thousand five hundred, and it's, a little more than halfway. It's a uh, it's a flexible goal, which means that if they don't get the full uh, the full amount, they're still going to get the money. Which means you yes. you will get a blowjob robot. It just won't be quite as cool. Blowjob robots may be changing <laughs> the game. It may be changing the game. If you are looking to allocate your funds into something, Wait, do you think there'll ever be blowjob robot porno? Um, probably. You would think so, right? Uh, I I want to mention that if you're looking to diversify. And you're looking to invest <laughs> in, uh, you know, like a Roth or uh, or something like that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Instead, invest in this shit. Invest in the Jerk of All Trades podcast blowjob rob- robot fund and allow us to have the first exclusive. Should we plug sneak- that shit? Sneak peek, absolutely. Uh, uh, support J O A T. We have a website. Now. Yes, yes. Uh, check out uh, the new J uh, the new Jerk of All Trades J O A T podcast dot com dot com. Under there, you'll see some tabs. Tabby tabs. Support J-O-A-T. Click on that motherfucker. And you will see our PayPal for the Blowjob Robot. The the Blowjob Robot Fund is live and in living color. and it All is proceeds ready. go to the Blowjob Robot. Yes. Arlen Robotics. Every, every and we're going to try to bring this bitch to life. Every dollar that you send to that uh, will definitely go towards Arlen Robotics uh, making this shit a reality. And will go towards... Uh, Jerk of All Trades podcast having the first hands on, <laughs> and that is a lot of hands. Actually, I think this would actually I don't be think ha- the blowjob robot has hands. I think this would actually be hands off because they'd be behind your head. <laughs> but uh, right. <laughs> if I can get the remote control, I'll really be hands off. Uh, <laughs> we uh, we want we want to we want to get uh, we want to double it, and we want to get the fucking reach around re- remote. So please make it happen. Check out our new website, joatpodcast.com. Check out the support page and just check the shit out because it's fucking cool. We got all Hell of our yeah. fucking episodes up there. You can stream them directly from there. You can go to our RSS feed, um, go yep. to all of other, uh, all of our other stuff. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, definitely a new cool venture that jerk of all trades has got going now. So check it out. And also donate all of your dollars to the JOT uh, blowjob robot fund because we need this fucking thing and we only got like a week left That's, um actually close we have 10 days left and we need this thing to Barely double halfway. double yeah uh i will say in the end um if they get close enough that's where people really start saying fuck this thing needs to become a reality and they start throwing money at that and i'm throwing money at my computer and i'm not seeing a blowjob robot coming out of it so um, i need you guys to donate to me and donate to eddie and allow us to donate to them and we will make this shit a fucking reality so hell yeah 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 that's uh that's jerk of all trades podcast episode seven that is uh that's uh that's the starting point we got next week episode eight we will definitely hit it up again j-o-a-t podcast look dot it com. up on your interwebs type it into your browser bar and check it out because yeah. uh yeah. what else you got ray uh so after this i wanted to uh i wanted to hit the uh little kendall jenner uh news Dude. so 
Um, I think she has come become a public enemy number one at Jerk of All Trades podcast, which not yeah, really sure. Maybe number two. Not really sure why, because honestly, I didn't really know a whole hell of a lot about her. But from the she's little twenty one years old. Apparently, she's I've tw- done my research. Apparently, she's twenty one. Eddie was worried she was sixteen. Uh, she's actually twenty one. <laughs> so uh, you never know, man. Last last week, we uh, basically lit her on fire again over the fire festival debacle. And uh, this week, um, we're going to give you a little update on that. Uh, so before that, we actually uh, also kind of gave her a little hard time about the Pepsi commercial that she did that was not really in uh, all that good of taste, uh, where she basically, you know, brought race relations uh, via a uh, sugary uh, brown cola. And so then she had the fire Festival thing where she was sending motherfuckers to a, a deserted island to eat uh, really shitty cheese sandwiches. And uh, yeah, so... Last week, we called it the only thing that a pseudo celebrity in that position could do is have a sex tape, right? Well, Mm -hmm. she's only 21 and she's she's still uh, she's still new to the game. She's still fresh. She's only got like eight million followers on Instagram. I don't think that's an exaggeration. Um, If you want to give us like a million. Oh, sorry. Zero. Sorry. Eighty million. Uh, If you want to give us like, I don't know, like 10. That'd be totally cool. Yeah. be Uh, Nice to her. (laughs) But <laughs> so maybe I, maybe I should just uh, just scratch this whole section off of the show, but I'm not going to because that's not what we do at the Jerk of All Trades podcast. We talk shit. So, so uh, what what, did, what happened? Now? So Kendall Jenner decided that she was going to distract from the debacles the, the of her sandwiches. life, and uh, she posted a uh, a topless photo of herself wearing uh, what looks like Indiana Jones oh, hat, damn. I believe. And uh, boots that appeared to go up to the bottom of her boob. I'm not really sure. She, uh, she's a little naked. <laughs> I'm not sure how practical these things are, but uh, she's fucking wearing them. And she's posing real hard. She's got her hips to the side. She's got 80 million Instagram followers. Um, I believe the article says she has hideous boots. And um, I'm going to be honest with you. I own one pair of boots. And, uh, yeah, they don't look like this. But um, Those boots are made for walking. They are, they are made for walking. And they are made for making lots of money for doing unknown things. But uh, the article actually amuses the fuck so out of me. So she's trying to distract from what, what was going she's, on with uh, the fire yeah, festival? Yeah, she's trying to distract from the fire festival. She's yeah. trying to distract from the Pepsi thing. And this is uh, this is step one on the pathway to the Kendall Jenner sex tape. So eventually... I she... followed Kendall Jenner on Instagram. No, you did not. I, I sure did. I hope to God... Hell yeah. I hope it was on your personal profile and not on ours. Oh, Please yeah. tell me. EddieTheJerk.com slash Instagram. Uh, or whatever. Eddie, the Eddie the jerk doc. <laughs> it's coming soon. Uh, I, uh, I want to mention that Eddie doesn't understand Kendall how the Jenner, internet works. <laughs> uh, we can hang out, but like, if you give me a cheese sandwich, uh, I'm going home. Yeah, the, uh, the, pi- <laughs> the the picture layout in this thing is hilarious. You've got the cheese, the infamous uh, Eddie the jerk cheese sandwich with the cheese that is off center. Then you've got her doing some sort of modely pose and shit. Then you've got topless then she's naked. Inst- Indiana Jones hat. Uh, Kendall Jenner. And then she's on the red carpet. And she's on the red carpet with Chrysler supporting her. She looked too bad right and there. And then uh, she's got FEMA, uh, FEMA tents. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then there's All right, some enough, other, enough Kendall Jenner another, time. Some other bullshit. But um, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that was just a little update for Kendall Jenner. Yeah. But uh, you know, I'm I'm following you on Instagram now. So uh, Eddie the jerk, bring bring the heat. <laughs> Eddie the jerk is following Kendall Jenner on Instagram, and I'm sure she's going to follow you back. But our biggest story of the week, yes, was uh, actually teased on our Instagram much earlier. Yes, yes it was. Let's, Mr. Stephen Colbert, Ray. I'll I'll let you uh, rock yeah, that one. Let's fucking let's talk about Stephen Colbert, and let's talk about Donald Trump, and let's talk about about yeah. his the first amendment apparently apparently uh completely unfindable joke here so you know that's interesting because i just texted you today because i could not find what he actually said yeah i i will what the fuck did he say i mean god damn it man if you're gonna have this joke and you're gonna put it on all these different links on all these different websites put the fucking joke in your fucking article i could only find it on one i'll tell you what so i am a rel- i could almost not speak on this because of how shitty these fucking articles are very, without the fucking joke in it very very true so i am a very um a pretty tech savvy person and um i talked about last week about how i my friend has allegedly uh, downloaded a lot of things off of the internet. Allegedly, <laughs> uh, uh, I believe he calls it bit torrenting. I'm not really sure what that is, but I have no idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I was literally searching everywhere, or my friend was searching everywhere for <laughs> for, 
for this goddamn joke and I could not find the fucking thing anywhere. I'm, I'm finding the articles and they're talking about all the fallout from it, but I could not figure out exactly what happened. And uh, eventually I did find an article, but I had actually resorted or my friend um, had resorted to downloading a torrent of that particular episode. And um, I actually didn't have to end up watching it because I didn't really want to watch the whole episode and I yeah, only yeah. wanted to hear the joke. But I don't blame you. Um, so basically on the late show on uh, on the first, which was a Monday of uh, this month, uh, Stephen Colbert um, kind of basically this was based around uh, when Trump was on uh, Face the Nation and he was uh, being interviewed by uh, John Dickerson, who's been around the game for quite a long time. And uh, Trump, you know, was Trump. He uh, he the show is called Face the Nation and he called it Deface the Nation. So you apparently take the nation's face. Quite witty. Off. Donald Colbert said that, right? No, that was actually Donald Trump. Oh, Trump. Tr- said that shit. Trump actually said that to John Dickerson. And uh, he also called it fake news, which fake is fake news. Definitely, That's popular. These definitely. Days. Definitely a rhetoric. The jerk of all trades is not fake news, by the no, way. No, no, we are. Um, yeah, we are not. We are definitely not fake. Um, hundred percent true here. So anyway, Stephen Colbert basically took offense to that and, uh, he had a whole tirade on his show on, uh, on the first. And, uh, at one point he basically said, uh, Donald Trump's mouth is only good for one thing. And that's for being Vladimir Putin's cock holster. So that was, <laughs> that, that was the joke. What? <laughs> I don't believe it. That was, uh, that was the joke. It was censored. It was censored. Say it again, Ray. Uh, he said that uh, Donald Trump's mouth is only good for one thing, and that's for being Vladimir Putin's cock holster. Jeez. Yes. So that's not very friendly. That was not all that friendly. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump. Is, it's not a bad joke, but uh, I don't know what it has to do with politics. I mean, so. I mean, I know you don't know you know a, a ton about Stephen Colbert, but I know no. quite a bit about him, and uh, I've been into the whole. Um, the political satire game for a long time. I was a fan of the daily show way back in the day um, with Craig Kilborn and then with John ah, Stewart yes. and, uh, and then, you know, the Colbert report, uh, Stephen Colbert came from the daily show. Yeah. And so comedy central, right? You know, right. Correct. And uh, the Colbert report was basically Stephen Colbert kind of doing this faux right wing conservative super America. The show started with like an eagle sound and such. And so that kind of became his game. And when David Letterman retired, Stephen Colbert took over. And so he brought some of that to his show. And I mean, it was obvious that Stephen Colbert kind of leaned left. And so that's kind of, you know, what he's been doing on his show. And Donald Trump is definitely ripe for that type of stuff and for sure. that type of satire. I mean, Donald Trump is literally like the per- if, if you were a comedian who was, you know, trying to do some political satire, Donald Trump is literally like your godsend. Sure. He, he's going to He's a gold mine. <laughs> he's going to ruin the entire United his, States, his but presidential de- debate numbers killed the NFL ratings numbers and the NFL is number 1 among sports and ratings. Which is right, which is uh, I mean, in my opinion, kind of a a sad state of affairs in America that <laughs> Because people love their NFL because Donald Trump fantasy football is an an entertaining or must see uh, person when he talks, even though, in my opinion, he's kind of a complete fucking idiot. Um, people tune in and absolutely a, a lot of people still hear that idiocy and, you know, they like it and they resonate with it. And uh, so anyway. There was a pretty big fallout on this, and uh, one of the, one of the really interesting things I thought about this was that uh, there was uh, there was a big backlash against Stephen Colbert because they were saying that this joke was anti-gay, and so the oh, you know the the people that would normally be very pro uh, Stephen Colbert actually turned against him, and it kind of started to come out that that agenda kind of came from the you know the quote unquote alt right, and they were kind of pushing that agenda. And uh, so, yeah, they um, they were just kind of both sides were kind of t- turning on Stephen Colbert over this joke, which honestly, yeah, it was an off color joke. And um, but I kind of th- I, I thought it was kind of funny, honestly. It's witty. Um, the part of me wonders, what if he said this about Hillary? What if Hillary <laughs> became president and he, he busted out with a joke like this? He probably would have got fired then, right? Um, yeah, that would have probably been looked if at. Put- if Hillary's mouth was Putin's cock holster. 
Well, he's getting fired for that. Well, if you know, most likely, if there was some sort of collusion between Hillary Clinton and uh, well, I don't know the Russia. backstory behind it, but like, let's say she became the president, yeah. and this is his joke. But it's diff. I mean, it's it's a different scenario though because you have you know you have females, and I mean, we live in a different America than that. You know, you have a different America where you know things are looked at a little bit different. I mean, that would be looked at more as a kind of rapey joke, which this is definitely not looked at that way. It this is more yeah, of know. a Hillary might enjoy that shit. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna no I'm gonna no comment. Then again, maybe not. I'm gonna I'm gonna no comment all of that. I'm not <laughs> I am not making a single comment about Ray any is of uncomfortable that. right now. This I is the <laughs> first on the J O E T podcast. I am definitely not making a comment on that. Um, he would have been fired for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was uh it was definitely But because it's Trump, it's okay. Um yeah, you know what? I mean, but in the end, I think it's political satire and I think that they should be There is no reason to call for this guy being fired. Uh, this is the First Amendment. I agree. He does have a responsibility, according to the FCC, to follow FCC regulations. He did not curse. He did not say anything uh, that should... He was censored. He was censored? He was... Cock was, in fact, censored. Oh, he said cock. He said cock. Ah, so it was... A, it. It, it was actually... It was censored. Um, and, I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, this was on CBS. So, obviously... It's a big fucking... Story. Obviously, there was a lot of layers. They These shows are not live. They're recorded Absolutely. earlier in the day. So... I mean, it's hard to not but look. But they at, ran it with the sensor on it, right? They ran, they ran it with the so sensor. So they didn't violate right. any rules. No. So actually, the the FCC. So there was the big thing coming out of this where the uh, the fire the fire Colbert uh, hashtag was kind of out there, and then there was a big story about how there was an FCC investigation and how you know he might be fired. But it turns out that was kind of bunk, and that anybody that files an FCC complaint it's at least uh, looked into but it doesn't mean that there's an actual formal investigation created on it and there was not a formal investigation created on it and I think that this is kind of blowing away now and honestly in the end Colbert is looking way better for this oh. he is celebrating Donald Trump's first hundred days in office because his ratings are up huge uh, he, I'm sure he talks about Trump every night I'm you know I'm gonna be honest I don't watch the show. I, I, don't, I would almost guarantee it. I, I don't watch it either. I don't watch the show, but I'm sure that he is doing that. Uh, he's doing that regularly. And honestly, I mean, he should be because Trump is the money maker. You know, Trump is a uh, a very divisive figure, and you've got someone like Stephen Colbert who's known for having that kind of political uh, commentary. And so I think that that's definitely something that he should be doing. And I think um, this is interesting. But in the end, it's tough to not hear this and think like how much of this is kind of a media ploy and making a whole big deal out it of it makes you wonder really not a whole lot of anything but uh it's still interesting a big deal about nothing yeah a whole lot to do about my nothing, take on so. it is is you know trump man he did a lot of slamming during his debates the yeah. republican debates and the uh, debates he had against hillary now he's getting slammed you know he's got to be able to yes. take it a little bit uh Colbert, he doesn't do Colbert very good with that. It's an entertainer, and yeah. uh, Colbert is here to entertain. And you know, as long as he doesn't violate any FCC regulation rules, and you know what? Fuck, um, fuck the FCC. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm not a big FCC. Fan I'm gonna. Either, I'm gonna say but, it right now. I think that things like mainstream television. I think things like mainstream radio are behind the times. Honestly, a little if, bit. Yeah. If that is the only way that you're getting your entertainment, then you're missing out on things like this. For me, this is a little, a little personal and, and, and against the 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 nature of what it should have been, but uh, you know he slammed Trump, and you know it is what it is. Because you, not even secretly, have a love obsession with Donald Trump. Is that uh, I is call that it thing? the way I see it. He slammed him. He slammed him good, and uh, you know Trump obviously didn't like it. But if he didn't violate any rules, I don't see the problem with it. I look at it this way: if Donald Trump can talk about grabbing women by the pussies. <laughs> I you think mean Howard Stern? Uh, I believe... Oh, wasn't that on the Stern show? Uh, no, it was actually secretly recorded. It was secretly... Yeah, well, he was on a... Who, but, who reported it first? Uh, I, don't, I don't remember who exactly... I thought it was on the Stern show. I may be but wrong. He was, he was recorded on an Access Hollywood bus with uh, Billy Bush. Uh, Access Hollywood. Yes, fucking Access Jesus Hollywood. Christ. Fucking Billy Bush, the fucking uh, the nephew of uh, George W. Bush. Uh, talking talking about grabbing women by the bush, so um, there's a lot of bush action. So going on there. and talking about you know how like he, the 1970s how he's famous, how he's famous, and he can do whatever he wants. So if our our commander in cheese can talk about grabbing women by their private parts, um, I censored that for the FCC there. 
then Stephen Colbert should be able to talk about how Donald Trump's mouth is anybody's cock holster, and especially when it's probably true. So honestly, what? you know what? No way. Big, big, big finger up to Donald Trump, and you can take a guess which one it is. Pinky? Let us know which finger you think that Ray <laughs> is holding up towards our commander and she's. So, cool. yeah, if you can dish it out, then you Gotta need, to, to, you need to take it, especially Gotta when you're the goddamn it. Especially when you president. dished it out as much as you did in the fucking debates, man. You were on top of the world back Absolutely. then. Absolutely. Now that you got what you wanted, you got to be able to take it. So, you know what? Coming, Anyways, coming out of that. Speaking of commander in cheese. Oh, man, I, I had a better transition that. Oh, but I'll, let, I'll let you have it. I'll All let right. you have it. Oh, damn. I squashed race speaking, speaking about being on top of the world, yeah. let's talk about. The motherfucking Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Let's talk about it. As we like to call him, the Rock, running for president in the year 2020. Fuck yeah! Um, It's a. He says it's a real possibility. It was reported in GQ magazine. There was an essay on it uh, one year ago that said he would be a viable candidate. Um, Took it more seriously after reading the essay. For me, it's hard to believe. I think he's probably just doing this for press right now. Um, for like, isn't this a pay cut for the rock? I mean, a giant, <laughs> giant, giant. Pay I mean, cut. he's only the most popular movie star in the history, the, history of the, the world. Ro- right the now. rock is actually the most. How much high- does he get every movie? We should uh, look that up. Probably I, 10 million. I, I don't movie? know exactly, but he is the highest paid movie star. Okay. In Hollywood and so right for now. being president, he'll only get half a mil, but let's give look, me a break. Let's, let's look at it this way. Rock. You got you got to make better choices, you know, in, in the year 2020, and it's making movies and not being the stupid president. But let's be honest. Let's be honest here. Most of the Rock's movies suck. So they do. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> name name a good Rock movie. Go. Walking Tall. Um, the Rundown. Those were the first two movies he ever made, and they're okay. Name Walking one, Tall was good. Name one um, within, within the past five years he's been in every movie Tooth made. Fairy. No, <laughs> I didn't see that one. Uh, uh, Bay- Baywatch. Damn it. Baywatch. Fast and Furious 9. Oh, my God. <laughs> I heard it was good. Anyways, so The Rock's going for president. It's trying to take a pay cut for making ginormous money and making movies. This motherfucker is half Samoan and half Canadian. How is he going to be the president? He was. I thought he was born in the United States. He is a United States citizen. His mother's Canadian. I mean, I- his mother's... Uh, I think his mother's Canadian. I'm not sure. I think we were preparing for an Arnold fucking presidency, even though but he if Rock definitely o- wasn't born here. If Barack here. Obama can sneak in there, oh, you got to be able to Don't, put Rock in there. Do not. Let's not go down that goddamn road. No, he won fair and square. Eddie, Eddie has some sort of hard on I don't like against Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Until he pays me my money. <laughs> He's really got a fucking problem with Barack Obama. But let's and just really say, uh, to me, let's but. say The Rock actually did run yeah. in 2020. Him versus Trump. What a- on the debates may shatter all the ratings in the history of ratings. I'm going to tell you what, that's going to be the best fucking promos. And Trump is in trouble. That's going to be a, the best promos in Trump a fucking in presidential. Trouble. Trump can hold his own, but The Rock is quick. The, ro- the, rock, the rock is quick. The Rock will lay th- the smacketh down on Donald Trump's <laughs> disgusting fucking hairpiece. Dude, but Trump ain't no slouch. He's Trump not, ain't he's no not, slouch, Trump, man. Trump ain't bad on the mic. But he we, throws down. We don't know what his in-ring work looks like, but <laughs> <laughs> we we have yet to we have yet to see what his signature moves look like. But but uh, that that would shatter the ratings. You know, it, it, it would definitely. So shatter. so have you ever seen the movie? He would be the ultimate babyface. Have you ever seen the, the Rock? Have you ever seen the movie Idiocracy? Before? Uh, unfortunately, I have. Okay, so I'm not a big fan. I'll, I'll tell you what. I I didn't love it. I don't like it as much as I like Office Space, but I think it's very very interesting in the times that we live in. And I mean, we're literally getting into the realm of our presidential candidates now are just literally celebrities. It's really mm-hmm. really bizarre. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm a complete. I'm completely blown away by it. And honestly, I guess I would much rather the rock run for president than fucking Donald Trump. But well, yeah. you don't know what any of his policies are. I mean, You're I re- just basing it. Off I really of don't. I, you know, you think he's a good person. I mean, the rock seems like a genuinely good person. He gives off a pretty good vibe. Um, I will tell you that uh, he's actually a registered, a registered independent, which I thought was interesting. <gasps> 
He he would be the first independent president in the history of. Uh, I mean, let's be honest here. Presidency. He would he would have to Bernie it, and he would definitely have to ride on that Democratic thing. Um, For but sure. uh, I sure. I thought that was interesting, and uh, also he will not. He basically will not lay out what his political views are. He will not say whether or not that's because he's he smart. Likes Donald Trump or he doesn't like Donald Trump, but uh, say he, nothing. He's definitely been at odds with some of Donald Trump's policies. He was completely and utterly against the Muslim ban. Uh, he actually severed ties with. Uh, Under Armour over some stuff, so um, yeah, that didn't stop him from bringing out those shoes that sold out in 24 hours. I didn't hear about that. The rock shoes that just came out a couple weeks ago. Oh, I, I believe I sold out <laughs> in fucking I, 37 seconds. I believe you actually came over, and your first question was, "Did you get those rock shoes?" And I'm like, "I was wondering." I just had this perplexed look on my face, and then I was like, "What if I just the told, rock had shoes?" What if I just told you, "Yeah, like yeah, I got the fucking rock shoes." I had no. I would believe it because they sold out so fast. I had no. Somebody good... had to buy them, motherfuckers. It wasn't me. It but wasn't anyways, me. Anyways, I don't know what the deal is with him and Under Armour, but apparently it's not stopping him from selling out his fucking sneakers. No, it is not. Uh, but I'll tell you what, this is fucking crazy, absolutely crazy. We have a professional wrestler, the fucking Rock. He's not even. He's Canadian. He's half Canadian. And he might and Samoan. He might be running for goddamn what the fuck? president of the United States of America. Things are definitely, definitely getting bizarre. What is going bizarre. on in America these days? They are getting really it bizarre. It just goes to show how silly the the whole title of being president is. I think I think we've really I think we've jumped the shark now. We have ju- almost. We We're have almost there. Fonzie is like on his motorcycle. He's Trump got his to, thumbs up. Trump has to shake hands with a robot uh, blowjob uh, in the I wa- White House. I want the, the I, I want I want the Terminator robot, <laughs> the fucking Putin's Terminator robot, to come to the White House, stick his robot dick into Donald Trump's mouth. Oh no, sorry. I guess it would be reversed, right? Because was Putin was Putin's robot Trump's cock holster? I, I, I kind of lost track of all this uh, in this joke, but uh, all I know Somebody's is... Somebody's getting a robot cock. D- Donald Trump and t- the, the Terminator Putin robot are fucking 69ing like a motherfucker. Oh, jeez. And uh, yeah, it should uh, it should benefit us all, so... This yeah. podcast sponsored by Captain Morgan. Yes, ca- <laughs> Captain Morgan's private stock uh, rum. It will... It, it Speaking will, of which... It will do good things to you, Are so. we doing that before or after social media? Mm. Absolutely. Because uh, I think we're up against it. So let's knock out that social yes. media and have a little toast to the iTunes. Absolutely. And the RSS feed yeah, and, so, uh, and everything else. So uh, first thing we want to let you guys know is uh, J-O-A-T, Jerk of All Trades podcast. We are legit. We are official. We are we are live. We are live. All, J-O-A-T podcast.com. Check all it out. the best fucking platforms for your podcast. We are there. So we are on iTunes. iTunes? Just, I think I've heard of them. Uh, I believe they're uh, they're owned by uh, this fruit company. Um, Apple. 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 Take a little. Take Didn't a, take them long take, to, to take for a li- them to recognize. No, they, they, knew, they knew it was We appreciate up. that, Apple. Uh, absolutely. We love Even you. Even though you wouldn't let us log in with our password for like Steve Jobs, I'm coming days. into the afterlife, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. You're a cool motherfucker, and... Uh, Tim Cook, you're fucking cool. So, uh, jerk, what up, iTunes? Uh, jerk of all trades podcast is going iTunes. Search us. Uh, Where else we, we are at? there? I think uh, we're on Stitcher too, right? I believe we're on Stitcher. Stitcher, um, I on love Stitcher you, too. Stitcher. Same thing. Jerk of all trades podcast. Uh, SoundCloud, you can still hit us up there. That's, still on SoundCloud. Uh, jerk of all trades podcast, and then uh, check out the brand fucking spanking new website for the Jerk of All Trades podcast, which is J-O-A-T podcast. Check out our support page. Yes, please. Check Hook it out. us up. Uh, give us some Tell fucking Tell us what money. you think. You know, if, if we you know we need to tighten things up certain areas of the no, website. You know but what? It looks good. It don't look, don't tell we us. We worked hard Don't on tell it. us any of those things. Just give us your goddamn glitter dollars and let <laughs> us fucking donate Get to that. Get that damn blowjob robot. We need the blowjob robot. Uh, and then if you want. Jerk of all trades podcast <laughs> at gmail.com. And then uh, jerk of all trades podcast at gmail.com. And then we're on all other social media. Uh, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, jerk of all trades podcast. And then Twitter. Twitter. J O A T podcast. We're so everywhere. You can't. You can't not find you, us. You cannot miss us. Uh, we love you guys. And we're going to go to break. And no, we're not going to break. Uh, As a celebration oh, to yes, the uh, yes. iTunes and Stitcher, yes. JOATpodcast.com, we will be doing a celebratory shot, shot of, of our favorite liquor, yes. Captain Morgan Private Stock. Eddie and I have a long Live history. Live and in living color. With Captain Morgan Private Stock. So we're gonna All day, sh- every day. We're going to shoot this, and then we're going to go to break, and then we're going to come back with some more fun topics. So we love you guys. Love oh. you guys. We'll be back. 
All right, we will be back. More fun topics, Jerk of All Trades podcast. Break. guys we are back from our break and we've got a lot of fun topics planned for you guys right now and this is our little uh, tech segment right now so we're going to talk about some interesting tech news and some science news and some drug you news <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah yeah it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun little section of the show here and uh, the first thing that I want to talk about was uh motherfucking apple so apple I- man apple's bringing jobs back <laughs> to the united states apple is bringing jobs back one up. billion dollars billion with a one B. i got my fucking pinky up to my lip right now one billion billion man one that's billion a, that's uh, a lot that's one a billion. whole lot to the united states of america absolutely hell yeah for so that man. let's fucking let's Give talk us about some this fucking money fucking apple stops in them yeah. jobs of fucking china all the time yeah let's talk about um it. fucking tim cook the motherfucking apple man Bringing a billion dollars worth of manufacturing to the United States for manufacturing jobs, created two million jobs, and plans for thousands and thousands and thousands more. Yeah, get them apple plants up and at Absolutely. it. Absolutely, get them apple jobs coming in in America. Let's get us some money up in this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is pretty. This is pretty cool. I'll tell you what. I have been. Uh, what would be self-described as an Apple fanboy for yeah. quite a long time. Yeah. Um, I love my fu- fucking iMac. That's what we record the show on. iPad. Um, I have had an iPhone uh, for many, many, many generations. Uh, I love Apple. I love the simplicity of it. I love that I don't have to worry about all the bullshit on PC. But uh, yeah, uh, Apple is looking to bring a bunch of fucking money to America. They created a one billion dollar fund. That's to a lot of money. Basically, invest in manufacturing jobs here. And their big thing with this is that they want to train the next generation of app developers. They want people to give media and apps and such to them and so they can continue to do what they do yeah. and uh yeah i think it's cool that they're bringing this shit to america but uh i think the the really interesting aspect of this to me um besides the fact yeah i, I love that they're bringing shit to america but uh apple has had a lot of problems in the past with <laughs> their manufacturing overseas suicide uh suicide uh yeah apple or ha- we're not repping that suicide no we're we're know. definitely we are definitely not repping suicide uh up in here that's not uh they're not paying them chinamen to no. build them fucking <laughs> apple watches what? i the do right way. i do not jerk of all trades podcast is not raw uh, does not they call, made enough money it's time to bring them does not support calling people chinamen <laughs> i believe that's Sort of China men and s- women. slightly offensive, but uh, yeah, Apple had a lot of problems in the past. Uh, there was a bunch of exposés that came out around uh, 2010. Well, yeah, the main thing is they're investing in the future of the United yeah, States. Absolutely. They're investing in future developers. Um, you know, it's like we got the technology here. We got the people here. Yeah. We got the brightest minds here. Let's invest in the United States. I don't know if that's completely true, but I'll, I'll sort of agree with it. I, I support the United States. Uh, the United uh, the United States actually as a whole actually uh, I mean I'm not saying that we don't have bright minds here but uh, usually we end up pretty low on the totem pole when it comes well, to education, education and such. Yeah. Um, well, that could change. I hope that so. I really hope so. If we start, uh, I don't know, giving people free college and this uh, is awesome news. Yeah. Jobs I'm, in America is absolutely. a great thing. The more jobs, the better. That, that means more money for us. That means more money for you and your families. Yes. So Apple, if you work for Apple, it's a great giant big company that's yes. out there and uh, them bringing jobs to the United States 
that's not especially when the ro- especially when the robots are taking all of our goddamn jobs all the time it's <laughs> nice that they're actually bringing jobs here uh but th- the big thing that i want to talk about with uh with this i you know i kind of you know touched on it a couple times is their problems overseas and the way they treat people overseas so i can't imagine that the way that they treat people overseas is the way they're going to treat people here um it was actually so bad that they had in their uh, their main facility uh foxconn in uh, china they actually had uh, multiple people that tried to kill themselves and people that that's did crazy. that well, that's because they didn't pay them uh well they didn't pay them and they worked them long hours and they didn't give them Slave fucking breaks yeah. they tried to take days off and very, they fucking denied very, it very unfortunate. uh forced overtime and uh eventually these people if you are at your job and 18 <laughs> workers attempted suicide i'll tell you what if there has never been a time in my life and you know what there's been there's been jobs that i haven't loved and uh, I've been a little frustrated in there. Yeah. But there has never been a time where I have thought. And I'll tell you what, I haven't worked in like a giant fucking skyscraper where jumping out of the building wouldn't have done anything besides, I don't know, maybe like twist my ankle or hurt my leg a little bit. But uh, people were like legitimately not to make light of it. were jumping out of the goddamn building, killing themselves. And uh, the really fucked up thing is they actually had to install what I'm sure they didn't call them this there, but uh, there were fucking suicide nets. Like, how fucked up would that be if you're like, I cannot take this anymore. I can't build another one of these. Only in China. <laughs> I cannot build another one of these goddamn smartphones. If I got to look at one motherfucking iPhone one more time, <laughs> I'm jumping out this motherfucker. I'm, I'm fucking doing it. And then you do it and you're fucking free falling and you're just like, it's not worth it. I can't live anymore. But you're thinking it in whatever home language you speak and... Then you hit that goddamn Especially net. Especially for the money they're making. And those <laughs> black and, the, and those fucking nets are super springy, too. So you know that you spring back up and you fly back into the same window that you jumped out of. And you Dude, end up right so, back in the so same suicide, seat. <laughs> yeah, suicide is against the law, right? It's illegal to commit suicide. <laughs> so you hit that net. Are you going to jail? That's a fucking felony. Are dude. you going to jail is after a... you hit the net? Because like... It's like, do I go to jail? Do I die? Or do I just keep working? What, that what, what are my it, options here? That that You really don't have a lot of options. And I'm upset because I only get a week of vacation. And these motherfuckers yeah. are like, I'm working like, what is the maximum amount of hours you can work a week? Take away two. That's how many hours they're working. Probably they're, about 95. <laughs> they're jumping out the goddamn window because they have to fucking see another iPhone or a fucking iPad. And... Uh, They've installed nets to prevent them from fucking from dying. dying. Please stop dying because we can't. So hopefully that doesn't happen here. And so, you know? so that's the thing. Can you imagine the media debacle when there are suicide nets in America? It's not happening. Oh, no, Hell it's no. definitely not happening. No, yeah, the anti, uh, the le- the left or whoever, the uh, <laughs> the, the alt right will not have that shit. I think the alt anything will not have that. Yeah, so that's not cool. There, that's a big thing with these manufacturing pay companies. Pay these motherfuckers. You got enough money. Pay it, these motherfuckers. It's uh, you want good products. Pay these motherfuckers. Produce it. There is a whole different set of regulations and such that. Oh, that's why they as do it. as much yeah. as much as you know. I may you know complain about the things that happen in this country. At least we don't have such deregulation that things like this can happen. And I guarantee you that things like that are not going to happen here because that would be no. a complete media but fucking the- disaster. <laughs> But the bottom line is they're bringing jobs yes. back. Yes. People are being able to make some money, yeah. which is always a good thing. More money in our pockets. Apply for Apple, so, maybe. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Apple, open up them factories and start lacing our fucking pockets with yes. that dollar bill. Absolutely. But uh, Multiple dollar bills. If, and I'll then tell you what, them- man. If I was in China making them Apple iPods and shit, I'd be a little depressed. Would you be depressed? I'd be depressed as and, fuck. Uh, and but what-, what do I take for that motherfucking shit? So let's let's say you're a little depressed. Do you uh, do you go to your uh, your? I don't want no pills. Do you go to your local psychiatrist and Fuck say, that shit. "Hey, I'm real fucking sad." And uh, I don't mean to make light of depression because it's actually really fucked up. But uh, you know, hey, do you know? Can, do you have any of those uh, those SSRIs or anything? Maybe some Prozac or something. You know, something mm. for my anxiety. You know, I got post traumatic stress because I worked. I got in a shitty a, ass fucking job. I work. I worked at uh, at an Apple factory in China. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Uh, so just give me some fucking right. ketamine, man. So you know what? Yeah, give me some goddamn ketamine. Lace so, me up. So let's fucking talk about. So this is something that really, really progressive really, medicine. Pro- progressive medicine, uh, really, really fucking interests me because uh, you have these drugs 
and things that have been basically bastardized for a very, very, very long time mm-hmm. that people look at as like, well, that's illegal. And so, you know, that c- there can be nothing good from that. And uh, so, yeah, we've uh, we've actually got our first large scale study of uh, ketamine and uh, ketamine. Cool. Ketamine is actually it's an animal tranquilizer. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, people hear that actually. Uh, I believe it was last week. Eddie and I. I, I believe they classify it as a hallucinogen. It, it is, in fact, a hallucinogen. It is was initially used in, as an animal tranquilizer, and it's still used that way. And uh, actually, last week I dropped that, and Ed, Eddie was kind of like, I, I believe I actually said, if you want to donate your uh, your tranquilizers to the podcast, and uh, that still holds <laughs> true, and uh, you can actually send them care of the jerk of all trades. I'm pretty happy. Uh, it, does, it doesn't matter. You can, I'm a uh, happy guy. What you, can, can you can still go into a K-hole uh, regardless of all that. But uh, anyway, so uh, k- uh, ketamine is basically an animal tranquilizer, and uh, people take it. It's like a, like a party drug, and people take it for other reasons aside from that. Yeah. And... Um, they're, they did the first large scale study. And so, uh, you know, the way that ketamine is regulated right now, they weren't actually able to just have people come in and just like say, hey, take ketamine and you don't take ketamine. And we're going to, you know, do some like actual science shit and stuff and figure out what's going on. No, uh, what they actually did was uh, they actually mined data from uh, previous FDA reporting of people that had depression and people that took ketamine and people that didn't take ketamine and what they actually found was that uh out of 41,000 41,000 uh no pinky up to the lip there it's not uh not a billion not a million but uh 50 still a good number 50 percent of those people actually didn't have depression or had reduced depression from taking ketamine hell yeah and so uh depression is big man i think people overlook that among yes like the the many issues that human beings have absolutely depression is a mother it is uh it's a huge thing and uh without it says here that uh it worked incredibly quickly alleviating symptoms in just a few hours yeah other drugs used to 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 treat depression generally takes two to four weeks so in other drugs that they're giving you because they want you to keep coming back. Of course. Because the money's in the... In the Push a man. The money's not in the cure. The money's in the treatment. Absolutely. So they always want to treat you. Yes. They never want to cure you. No. But anyways, uh, ketamine works in just a couple hours. Yeah. Just a few hours, you start feeling better. But other shit, two to four weeks. So yeah. of course it's illegal. Of course. So uh, so you know what? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll throw some shit about uh, my own fucking existence out here. So you know what? Uh, I've had some hard times in my life, and I've suffered through some bouts of depression in my life. And uh, you know what? I've had some periods in, which, in my life in which I've taken um, normal pharmaceutical prescription uh, depression medication. And I'll tell you what, um, I gave it a chance, uh, multiple times in my life and I took it for multiple weeks and it's supposed to take a, you know, quite a few weeks to build up in your system and such. And, uh, honestly, I just kind of felt very devoid of feelings completely like, and that's not what I'm looking for in life. I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to just not feel life. I want to, I want to live life, but I don't want to live life in a fucking constant state of just like not enjoying things and that's kind of what I and I do. I really want to make clear that I'm not saying that the normal pharmaceuticals that they give out are completely um, not good because I think that they're very important for people. And I think that that's something that gets really, really mixed up in the alternative medicine scene is that, mm-hmm. you know, people are automatically like, well, this this is good and the normal pharmaceutical bullshit is bad. And I don't think that that's true. I think that that's important for very many people. And um, that's something that they should continue doing. But for me, it didn't work. And I'll tell you what, um, I actually, in my lifetime, I've actually never had ketamine. I, I know a lot about it. I've read a lot about it. I know what it does to you. Uh, but I've actually done a lot of other uh, actually, my friend has done a lot of other um, psychedelic, allegedly. allegedly done a <laughs> lot of other psychedelic drugs uh, like LSD and magic mushrooms. And those are things that um, he did and he was doing them to basically just escape or, you know, feel something different or feel something. And they were actually starting to rewire uh, my friend's brain. And eventually in a good way or bad way <laughs> in a very, very good way. Hell yeah. And um, yeah, it, it completely changed. Um, fuck it. <laughs> it changed my life. And uh, and 
Um, I felt a lot better. Um, there was a period in my life where I was a very, very, in a very bad situation, in a very bad marriage, and I just was not a happy person. And uh, I uh, dabbled a little bit in what's called microdosing, where I took small amounts of uh, a psychedelic, and uh, it really started to um, change my perception on things. And there's a lot of science coming out now, and this is one of those things where it's starting to show that um, these things kind of like... Um, where regular typical pharmaceuticals work on a long term and they maybe give you like a slight dopamine release or that type of thing where uh, a psychedelic basically just like pushes you into this different reality and it connects these different neurons in your brain and it pushes you into different parts of your brain to work through things that you may not be completely willing to do when you're in your normal reality and then you're able to purge that shit out of your system and be a better person and be fucking happier. And I think that I am so happy to see that things like LSD, magic mushrooms, ketamine, MDMA, these things and the bastardization of these things by who knows exactly who the fucking the pharmaceutical people industry, regulate it for taxes. the fucking government. Um, yeah, yeah. Finally, people are seeing through that because of the wealth of information on the Internet and people are starting to use that and understand what the potential of those things are. And I For think sure. here's the bottom line. If these things are able to make people on a whole happier, is it going to work for everybody? No. Is everybody ready for the psychedelic experience? No. But are a lot of people going to benefit from it? Absolutely. fucking lutely And if that is something that we're going to see happen based on this type of study and other studies that are out there, I am so much for it, and I fucking love it. So everybody, send your animal tranquilizers. <laughs> send your fucking... Support J-O-A-T. Send your fucking ketamine <laughs> to the Jerk of All Trades podcast, uh, but please send it anonymously. And uh, you know what? I fucking... I, I love fucking people, and I love this world, and I want everybody to be fucking happy. Yeah, man. And uh, you know what? I don't what? have much experience with uh, psychedelics, but yeah. I do have a little. And um, My friend has a lot, a little bit. Yeah, but. allegedly. And if it helps people, I'm all for it. You know, I'm team... Absolutely. I'm team human. Team human. I'm not team robot. I'm definitely <laughs> no. team human. Well, fuck the robots. And um, like I said, man, if ketamine works on people, why is it banned? You know, why Why are you holding it back from people you if have... it can be used in a progressive way to make people feel better? I mean, it's it's senseless to make it a drug other than the fact that... Legalize you... it all. That's... That is as extreme as that sounds. Legal, well, yeah. Legalize it all. Legalize small doses. all. No. In smaller doses. Legal, legalize drugs. But because... if you haven't tried it, try psychedelics in small doses. If you can, if you're too afraid, that's fine. But like, Understandable. Yeah. If you can't, if you haven't tried it, give it a chance, man. In small doses, hang out with some friends. That way, if anything goes awry, you got your friends. Absolutely. That got your back. S- setting is important. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, that's how we did it. And Treat uh, it with respect. Treat it well, yeah, our respect friends. Respect the psychedelics, man. I believe if you're you my friend. Respect it. They they might come back to bite that, you. That is a big thing with me. You so, you have to treat these things with the utmost respect and the respect that they deserve because it's, be, it's being proven that uh, these things have a good effect on human beings yes. and the brain. So give it a chance. Let's that's do all, it. I mean, that's all there is to it. Just give it. You a know chance. what? This is this is your brain. And this is your brain on drugs. And, and this is your brain on ketamine. And this is your brain on ketamine. And you're in a K-hole. And you're happy. And you're fucking finally happy because you can work through your fucking bullshit. So It fuck. works super fast. It yes. works three weeks faster than the fucking other shit. Yeah. Why would you even bother with the other shit when you can try some ketamine? Right. And shit you have to be on forever. That's You said it earlier. It's not about the fucking cure. It's about... Getting you hooked on their fucking shit. They're so. making money and you're not, basically. Right. Exactly. You're giving them your money. So, well, I'll tell you what, man. I was depressed until I heard Uh-oh. about this exercise pill. Oh, man. God damn it, man. God Are you damn. telling me I could get a six pack without working out? <laughs> I Is that what I'm hearing right now? I don't know that that. Oh, shit. I'm t- researchers have identified a method for increasing endurance yes. in mice by about 70%. With the help of a drug that triggers the same genetic process as exercise. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on here? The world is getting fucking crazier and crazier. I'll tell you what. Uh, I, as much as I want to be a healthy motherfucker, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not 
I'm not fucking ripped. I'm not in the fucking best shape. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not showing off the fucking jerk of all trades podcast fucking six pack over here. No. But uh, if I if I can build my fucking endurance without working out and I can fucking exercise in a goddamn pill, um, that's what Americans love. You know, instead of having to uh, put the work in, fucking take a pill. And I don't think that that's. Completely- I think this is every lazy human's dream pill. Yes, absolutely. Every goddamn infomercial that you saw in your entire life. In a fucking nutshell, this is this, but it might actually fucking work. So uh, basically what it is, it's uh, PPAR Delta. It's a transcription factor gene, um, and it increases endurance by activating pathways in the body. Um, And so they have uh, basically what they did, they genetically removed it from mice they had him on a, run on a fucking treadmill. Uh, I would love to see a goddamn mouse on a treadmill. Uh, I hope it was actually like a regular ass treadmill. Like it was just a very, very tiny treadmill. So they like the mouse had to like s- set up the settings and shit on it. Uh, <laughs> I can't imagine that was probably what it was, but that's what I'm imagining in my mind. Um, this is pretty crazy. Yeah. So essentially what they did, uh, they uh, they had him run on the fucking thing and test it out and see what their endurance was. And then they gave them this molecule and it activated that uh, PPAR again. And then they did a comparison and they saw a 70 percent increase in endurance on these that motherfuckers is a lot. That is a, a, a mouse that can fucking endure. UFC fights are going to have to be like six, <laughs> seven, eight rounds now. 70 percent endurance. If that is this huge. works on humans, that's huge. Are you crazy? That is huge. They're gonna have to fucking make the Boston Marathon like fucking twice as long now. Let's not talk about the Boston Marathon. I think that's <laughs> Our... still is that too early? That was <laughs> like four or five years ago. They're gonna have to make any marathon longer. But seriously, what if, the fuck? If you are a goddamn gorilla and you are, and uh, actually, if you're not an actual gorilla, if you're a guy in a gorilla costume, you know what and, this would be good for? Fucking uh, soldiers, man. Oh, I wait. You're Hell gonna yeah. wait. You're gonna fuck a soldier. Fucking soldiers. What? <laughs> Wait, wait. You still did not emphasize. Imagine, <laughs> imagine the ground you can cover. You did still not emphasize that right. endurance. I still thought you were going to fuck a soldier. <laughs> oh, if she's hot, man. I don't see why not. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, there's hot soldiers. Yeah. Uh, if you're a hot soldier, J-O- uh, jerkofalltrades <laughs> at gmail.com. Eddie the Jerk is... Jer- jerkofalltrades podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> jerkofall- oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, Eddie the Jerk is single, and I'm looking yes. for a hot soldier. He is looking for a hot soldier, and he's got <laughs> 70% endurance yeah. increase and if i get this pill watch the fuck out yeah watch, watch the oh fuck. that's another thing i didn't think about more endurance more endurance yeah <laughs> if you dude, we're pulling all nighter <laughs> if you are a premature ejaculator you need <laughs> the exercise pill i can't wait for the infomercial on this shit she's gonna be begging me to stop <laughs> i believe ron jeremy will be in it and it will be fucking amazing i am waiting for that that is my greatest hope in this because I'm not buying the exercise It'll be exercise a sad pill. day when your girlfriend has to flush the uh, exercise pills down the toilet because she can't take it anymore. It, I mean, it might be a little sad for her, but... Uh. Hey, you know, it's like, <laughs> damn it, where's my, where's, my, where's, my, where's my stash? Where's my stash of exercise pills? I had shit pills. all set up. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty fucking crazy, man. So, obviously, they're using it in mice right now. But uh, what happens when they are able to utilize this in human beings? And mm-hmm. um, the big implications on this is it's actually banned as a performance-enhancing drug right now. Uh, but, obviously, you know, we've, get s- it. we've seen in the past uh, uh, people like to uh, skirt the system. So, uh, what happens to, you know, athletic shit when people are able to do this thing that gives them a 70 percent advantage i believe you start to see people breaking every goddamn record <laughs> mark mcguire were fucking coming for yo shit <laughs> yeah no shit right? so yeah barry it's bonds, uh, actually uh oh sorry baby yeah. barry bonds i never i never king steroids i, n- I never claimed to be the strongest <laughs> fucking your steroid game right i'm Ray. sorry my my steroid uh knowledge is a little off kilter, so I will work on that. I will learn my fucking steroided baseball Your steroid players. Steroid baseball players. And next week I will give you the top ten baseball players that were on steroids. I'm Ooh, not, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm definitely not. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm holding it to you. Oh. Oh fuck! All fuck right. yeah! All right, so sports wrap next uh, next week in sports wrap. <laughs> uh, Ray has. Can you to... name ten players on steroids right now, or probably not? No. No. Mark McGuire, Barry, Barry Bonds. Bonds. That's it. Oh, for, all right. Yeah, next week. I Definitely. Don't, next I don't think week. I could name eight more baseball players. I don't even players. think I can name ten. I could. Be- <laughs> 
Allegedly. I, I could Allegedly. Pro- I, could, I could get close, but uh, yeah. I don't think I could hit 10. Uh, yeah. So oh. anyways, uh, if I need to hit 10, I might need surgery on my brain. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and if I got to get surgery on my brain, I want a robot to do that shit. And I'm not even joking. Goddamn robots, man. Robots are taking everybody's job. No one is safe. Even <laughs> goddamn even the brain, doctors. brain surgeons. We talked about earlier where... Uh, people that were making under twenty dollars an hour, they stood no chance. Fucking robots are definitely coming for your goddamn job. Fuck yeah! Now fucking or, fuck that. Fucking <laughs> fucking. <of> the two. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck everything. God damn it! You know what? Let's 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 fuck the world. Let's hell. Yeah. Let's, you know who's gonna prescribe me my ketamine uh, prescription? A fucking robot doctor, because that human doctor ain't gonna do it. Ah, uh, he might. He but might. anyways, we have a robot that can prefer perform a brain surgery cranial surgery 50 times faster than the standard that procedure. is relatively fast 50 times faster. pretty fast pretty that fucking is fast crazy if i want to get my brain surgery i want to get out 50 times faster get back to my life that's right man if i gotta get brain surgery i gotta go to work on monday that's the bottom line i gotta <laughs> fucking be back. friday if fucking friday night i'm give me, give me i'm my going in the hospital faster. saturday i'm getting my fucking brain surgery sunday recoup that's it. One day, man. I'm back. Just give me my scar back, and let I'm me back. walk. I'm back in the goddamn game. But uh, yeah, these doctors, man, it's much like the uh, self-driving cars in that a doctor still has to oversee yeah. the procedure. There's a doctor on hand during the skull procedure, um, the, the the surgery that oversees everything. He can stop the machine at any moment. So these robots are being overseen by humans still. But uh, 50 right times now. faster. That is incredible. Absolutely. Incredible. Absolutely, man. This is this is definitely, definitely fucking cool because, you know what? Honestly, if you need brain surgery, it's probably pretty important. It probably needs to happen relatively fast. Absolutely. And on top of that, so imagine how rigorous it would be for a human to have to perform brain surgery and not fucking slip and like not like I mean people are human. Pressure. People are make big pressure. People are human. Imagine the stress of your job. Whatever your job is. And anybody that's listening to the fucking podcast, we don't know what your job is. Maybe you're a fucking brain surgeon, but <laughs> you might be. But let's say you're not a brain surgeon, because I'm not a fucking brain surgeon. <laughs> so whatever my fucking job is, you know, you maybe feel a little bit of fucking pressure, a little bit of stress to do a good job. So if you're a brain surgeon and somebody's fucking life is on the line, you might feel a little fucking shaky Absolutely. with, with this fucking drill. You're not feeling that because basically what happens, they do a fucking CT scan of the brain. They fucking scope out like where all the nerves, all the major veins and shit are. Yep. And then they create a fucking diagram of exactly what they're going to do. And then, the fucking machine does it, and the fucking doctor is there, the surgeon is there to turn it off, turn it on if they need to, but it fucking does it. The and big thing for me is that this thing costs less than 100 k Yeah, they're going to... Less than 100000 They're going to... They're gonna That's c- less than a Kendall Jenner Instagram post. I believe... Isn't I, that crazy? I, I believe... <laughs> I can get my brain surgery for less than a fucking Instagram. If I if I need a if I need brain surgery, I can actually get three of them, three and a half brain surgeries for one Kendall Jenner Instagram two fucking post. Two and a half, post. two and a half brain surgeries for a completed uh, profile. Three and a half, actually. No, three, completed. Three hundred and sixty-three thousand dollars for what completed. She, that's what she. Charged. Oh no no no! I'm talking about completed for Black Mirror. Oh, Black yeah. Mirror, Black completed. Mirror, Black Mirror. Okay, yeah. Two hundred fifty thousand they got from angel investors. Oh okay, all right. Yeah, but if, you you lost. What, what what's more important? Fucking going on right now. A fucking brain surgery for humans fifty times faster than normal, or a fucking completed profile that you don't even want nothing to do with. We don't want. I don't even want a completed fuck, profile. Fuck I could completed. have all five stars on my completed profile. Wipe my ass with it. Let's give be, me my fucking brain surgery <laughs> for under hundred k. Let's. That's be, what I want. Let's be honest. Make me smarter. Let's be honest here. We're already both on completed dot com, <laughs> and based on the beginning of last week's episode. Eddie was a 4.373. Oh, you can't change it. You can't change and it. And based on my editing of last week's show, Eddie is actually a 2.8. I actually got more ratings since then. I, I think I'm at like a 5.8 now. Let's we next week maybe. We're going to go on to completed.com and we're going to check both of our profiles. So, if you have not rated us both yet, hey, please, Trump, give me that 5, bro. Please please Kendall Jenner Everything I've said about Kendall you was Jenner, a lie. give me that five. Everything I said about you is a lie. Bill O'Reilly, I fucking <laughs> love you. I love that you're podcasting. I cannot wait to not listen to your show. 
you're a cool motherfucker, and I don't like you at all. And I think he might need the robot drill. Uh, yeah, I might need to robot drill him in his fucking give him some common in sense. his fucking Republican dick. <laughs> so get ready, Bill O'Reilly. You can give me a one out of five. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna robot fucking drill your fucking dick. It's meant for the brain. I'm putting in your fucking Republican dick. God Stop damn touching it. these girls, man. Stop doing it. Fucking Fox News has got to pay out millions of motherfucking dollars for you to fucking touch women. And I'm fucked up, Bill O'Reilly. The robot drill is coming for your conservative, penile implant, and we love you, and please give me a good rating on completed, so, yeah, uh, <laughs> fucking robot drill, skull drill thing, that's that's fucking it, man, that's what we got to fucking say on this, we're fucking going, we're, we're lacking a little bit on the tech this week, but, uh, no, no, this, this has been, this has been tremendously bizarre, and, uh, <laughs> We fucking love you guys. And if they can implement this robot drill uh, within the next three or five years, that'd be great. 50 times faster is great. Under 100,000 yes. bucks is great. Yes. This is all good news for the human beings. Yes. And uh, we love move, you, human race. Yeah. Moving forward, let's just keep making the shit better. Yes. And let's better and let's better get fucking better. better. Let's learn how to fucking take care of people better and fucking cure people better. Medicine has just gotten so much better better over the fucking years Hell and yeah. let's continue to fucking do that and progress and fuck it man fucking human race fuck the robots humans number one humans. we are the fucking best hashtag team humans team humans hashtag team humans jerk of all trades podcast episode seven we're gonna fucking go to break we're gonna yeah. come back we have don't a, leave we have an amazing Dude fucking don't segment yeah. for you nothing but fucking we're not gonna laughs. tease it but don't leave we do not go will. anywhere this is the best segment yes. of the fucking podcast i promise you you are gonna laugh we love you guys we will see you on the flip side of this we'll break. be back jerk of all trades podcast episode seven we'll be back of all trades podcast episode number seven lucky fucking seven lucky sevens up lucky in this seven me yes anyways uh l- let me go ahead and uh introduce this giant rabbit story that died I'm god <laughs> damn it united motherfucking god damn united it. airlines and their motherfucking <laughs> doing? new stories that just won't quit even though their stop stock <sighs> keeps going up um, uh, uh, i believe it's actually going down yeah anyways giant rabbit after Dies after United Airlines flight goes to United States. Um, this is crazy. The Fucked World up. Guinness, uh, a book of world records, Guinness Book of World Records rabbit, the largest rabbit in the world. Three foot fucking long. Fucking died on a United <laughs> Airlines flight. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> just a couple episodes ago, if you're new here, just a couple episodes ago, we were talking about United Airlines kicking people off their planes uh, for bullshit reasons. Nope. Now they're fucking killing <laughs> fucking bunny rabbits on their fucking flights. Not even a regular ass bunny rabbit. Yeah. I mean, God damn it. It United. had to be the Guinness Book of World Records a mother- biggest <laughs> rabbit of all time. A motherfucking three foot goddamn rabbit what named Simon. What the fuck Simon. is going on here? This fucking rabbit, 10 months old, he's in perfect fucking health. He got a goddamn physical, a rabbit physical. I can't even imagine what's involved with that. Oh, they had him running a fucking treadmill. They gave him the fucking exercise pill and shit. Come with an enema. Uh, it might have. <laughs> I lift his little fucking bunny fucking tail up and uh, Peter Cottontail. Um, yeah, so three feet long, three three foot goddamn long. His name was Simon. 
Simon, we love you. We love you, Simon. R.I.P. fucking R. I. P. Simon. Simon. Seriously, I would love to pet the world's fucking largest. I bet Book that world's bunny was rabbit. cuddly as a motherfucker. Seriously, that God. That rabbit didn't do nothing wrong. Seriously, goddamn cuddly. So, uh, fucking United, what the fuck are you doing, United dude? Airlines. Dude, uh, you're you're fucking killing me, dude. You're kicking people off flights and you're killing rabbits. You lost. Way to go, United. You lost a billion dollars. Holla at me, JetBlue. You lost a billion dollars in fucking stock by grabbing some fucking Asian dude and beating the fuck out of him and taking him off your plane. The only Asian that didn't know Kung Fu. <laughs> this is where Eddie does his... <laughs> what the hell? He did it. He fucking yeah. did it. He did the Bruce the Lee impression. The only Asian that didn't know Kung Fu. He didn't know Kung Fu. He wasn't a UFC they are fighter. So lucky. They beat the fuck out of him. They drug, they drug that motherfucker off the goddamn plane, and now what the fuck is United doing? They are fucking up once again, and they killed the goddamn world's largest Guinness Book of World Records, and I get it. People don't care as much about the Guinness Book of World Records these days, but they fucking killed this motherfucker. Who the fuck knows what happened? Uh, there's so much more to this story, too. So apparently, this fucking bunny rabbit, the fucking breeder, was a lady named Annette Edwards. She was a former Playboy model, so she's hanging out with fucking Hugh Half and shit, and she's like, I fucking love bunny rabbits, and I want the world's largest fucking bunny rabbit, and I want to fucking breed the fuck out of him. And so she does, and then she's like, hey, he's fucking 10 months old. His name is fucking Simon. We're going to fucking put him on United no southwest somebody fucking else what the fuck are you thinking this was the time to go to southwest they fucking put him on this goddamn plane and the fucking plane lands he's in the fucking undercarriage and guess what this motherfucking rabbit is goddamn dead god damn it he is dead he has died why the fuck did he die he just had a fucking physical i don't know how often rabbits get physicals but apparently when you're world's largest bunny rabbit (laughs) you get your physicals right you get them. I get physicals like I don't know. I can't remember the last time I got a physical, but I'm not going on United. And if I'm if I'm going on United, I'm definitely getting a physical because Dude. if I die, I want my family to get yeah. the fucking money. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Jerk of all trades podcaster fucking mysteriously dies in the undercarriage. If Why I the go fuck on was United, I there? I'm filling out my will. It's like I got to update my will. I'm going Seriously. on United. What the fuck? <laughs> so they fucking kill this goddamn bunny rabbit. The funniest fucking thing about this is that uh, they. Uh, United uh, in their ultimate fucking PR. God damn it. Their PR like can whoever's doing their public relations for United. Can that please can they please be fired? I don't want anyone to lose their job, but this guy's not doing a good job. They offer no. they offered a postmortem investigation on this goddamn bunny uh, in the quotations here. In my notes, I put no thanks exclamation point because I even if I'm dead I don't want United Airlines to do anything to me so I just like to think about the potential autopsy on this goddamn giant rabbit by United Airlines I'm sure it would turn up that there was no foul play but they killed this goddamn brunny rabbit fucking Annette Edwards is fucking pissed because she said this fucking rabbit was in good health bullshit this is goddamn bullshit you fucking killed my goddamn rabbit and it gets you know you got problems when you're killing bunny rabbits seriously what that rabbit do united nothing 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 i want to know what happened right now this bunny rabbit knew too much and he was murdered murdered by united airlines i'm throwing it out there this goddamn bunny rabbit simon Let's call him by his name. Simon, Simon was murdered. He can't talk. He's dead. He is a rabbit. So even when he was alive, he actually could not talk in any sort of language that we as humans could understand. But what a, what what sound do bunnies make? What sound what? What sounds what sound does a bunny make? I don't know. This it it is, eats carrots and uh, is cute and cuddly and. Super I mean, that's friendly. not the sound it makes. I I I, I want, don't have a sound for. Bunny I, I wanted to do. I, I believe. I don't you, think they make too many sounds. I believe you sheeped me last week with the boss. So yeah. I wanted to, I wanted to throw the bunny rabbit sound and I don't. Yeah, that that was a pretty. When they make a eat a carrot, they. <laughs> do bun do bunnies actually eat carrots? Or is that like a cliche? I don't know. I never. It's had, hard to say. I never had a bunny, but uh, the other most ridiculous aspect of this is that uh, apparently. Uh, the breeder said there was a very famous client who had purchased Uh-oh. this large bunny rabbit and that he is very upset. So right now, very wealthy. all we can do is speculate who was the buyer. It was a him. Who do you think it is, Eddie? The Rock? 
if you smell. I don't know, man. World Guinness, it, Guinness Book of World Records. It might, it might be Donald Trump. It the might, Rock, maybe. It might be the fucking Rock. Vince McMahon. It might be fucking Vladimir fucking Putin looking to Vladimir uh, Kozlov. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cock holster this goddamn bunny. Um, it could be any number of people, but uh, what huge I, PR nightmare. I wish. How are you going to kill the biggest bunny rabbit in the Guinness Book of World Records? United, you're fuck- after you kick the guy off the flight. After I don't like, think they all fully public relations. I think they they kind of dragged him. I think and, they uh, I think they hired forcefully. Uh, <laughs> they hired, pulled him off the plane. I didn't even see it. They hired UFC fighters to beat the fuck out of him and drag him off. So I like to imagine that after this bunny died. I believe that they actually beat the fuck out of this bunny rabbit and they dragged his lifeless three foot corpse. Actually, I don't like to imagine that because that's pretty fucked up. This is the world's largest rabbit and you should probably Can't be treating- rabbits fly without being harassed. Seriously. They're equal people. Can't we put a goddamn rabbit on a fucking motherfucking plane? And leave him the fuck alone. And not kill him? Yeah. Even a regular bunny rabbit. What the fuck, man? God damn it. If I'm put in charge of the world's largest bunny rabbit, I'm going to definitely make sure that I do not murder the fuck out of him. If I get a pet bunny, we're not flying United. No. I'm sorry. We're going on JetBlue. Or we're going on Southwest. I'm going any... Because these motherfuckers United, you don't know what the fuck you're going to get in the United. I, I am I am getting in my shitty fucking 20-year-old fucking Honda, and I'm going to put that motherfucker in the backseat in a goddamn plastic road fucking... Trip. We're going a goddamn road trip, and I'm drinking road sodies, and I'm fucking <laughs> driving with Simon, and I know that he's cool because if I see something wrong with him, I'm like, what's up, dude? Do you need some fucking lettuce? Do you need some fucking carrots? Like, what is up? Are you okay? But... If you put him on the fucking the, the undercarriage of a United Airlines flight, they're going to kill him. So I'll tell you what. Right now, public enemy number three on the Jerk of All Trades podcast is United Airlines. Oh, yeah. We're going to make a top. They might be number one for me. <laughs> We're going to make a top five enemies of the podcast and United Airlines. They're up there. You're on the goddamn list right now. Stop fucking doing shit like this because it's not working out for you. So Hell no. Stop fucking doing it. Stop fucking killing animals. I swear to God, United, if I had a pet monkey, I'd send that bitch after you. But I don't. But I tell you who does. I'll tell you what. This motherfucker got Popka, Florida. Oh, my Got a wild God. monkey on the loose. So let's fucking talk a little bit about the ridiculousness that is this goddamn <laughs> world that we live in. So... Let's let's take a little trip back, two episodes back. Eddie and I took a little. Oh, tri- that's right. Took a little trip to the float tank, and Eddie had never been in a float tank before, and we had a fucking awesome, awesome experience going in the float tank. Uh, Eddie almost got kicked out because he walked out with his fucking wang hanging out and uh, was trying to hit on. Oh some no chick. way! I don't know if that was a full story, but uh, don't go that back. That ain't and- that big. It was. Uh- <laughs> It was, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, it was an interesting, uh, it, it was a fucking cool experience. And, uh, so anyway, we made, uh, made a little light of that and talked about, uh, one of my favorite movies is called Altered States, Altered States. and, uh, it's a early 1980s movie and, um, it's basically about a guy who starts going in fucking isolation tanks and he takes a bunch of psychedelics and eventually he turns into a crazy motherfucking monkey guy and he starts running around and, uh, fucking shit up. And so... Eddie came up with the brilliant idea of wow, what would happen if we took a monkey and we threw the monkey in the float tank. And so I thought that was pretty fucking funny and uh, would it turn into a human? And so I threw it out into the fucking world. I want a fun monkey story. And I really, really wanted it to happen. And I really thought about it. And uh, so I try to not seek it out too much. And uh, the best I could fucking do last week was I had a guy who dressed in a gorilla costume. Gorilla suit. Gorilla suit. And for six days, for six days, it was pretty fucking cool. He ran a for charity for a charity for a fucking gorilla thing. And fucking uh, I don't remember now, but but now this week. Uh, so we got our monkey. We yes. found him. We, we fucking found on the loose. We uh, we didn't get it last week, but we fucking found it this week. So I wonder if this motherfucker's still on the loose. So let's fucking talk about the fact that there are goddamn wild fucking monkeys attacking people. I don't in th- Florida. I don't think they actually of all places. I don't think they actually attacked anyone yet. But uh, in this version of the story, they actually did. So yeah, actually in uh, oh uh, a pop. Oh, Popka can uh, Eddie lived in Florida, so maybe he can pronounce that. I for believe me. the proper pronunci- pronunciation is Apoka. Apoka. But I could be in, wrong. Uh, in Apoka, Florida, there was uh, there was some there was a wild fucking monkey. It was a, a fucking Reese's monkey, uh, not Reese's pieces. It was a Reese's monkey. No. <laughs> uh, He's coming for your Reese's. He 
this motherfucker. So basically the story of the shit is that in uh, the 1930s, they brought these fucking what they call a troop of monkeys. I don't know if that's actually like a technical term for a large group of monkeys, but that's what they called it. Yeah. A uh, troop of monkeys. They brought it to the state park. There was a uh, fucking some sort of uh, group of people coming there and they wanted to impress them apparently with a troop of monkeys and so they brought them there and uh, apparently these fucking monkeys got out of goddamn control <laughs> and uh so the monkeys are still uh still uh you know running out of wherever the fuck they're hanging out and they're going into the fucking local neighborhoods uh i i read it i read uh from a lady that was saying that she got super nervous when a monkey ran toward her. So, uh, yeah, I would be too. Uh, she definitely thought a fucking float tank monkey was coming towards her fucking face to claw her fucking eyeballs out. Um, there, there's also a very fun sign that says, please do not approach or feed the monkey. So yeah. please keep this in mind at all times. Do not approach the monkey. Do not feed the monkey. I wonder how a monkey would, uh, approve of a blowjob robot. I don't... You would think they would enjoy it, I, right? I don't know. Or would they kill it? So, I I mean, obviously, monkeys are very closely related to us. So, I think if you, instead of having a human head on it, instead if you had a monkey head, <laughs> I think it would... Get this my, a monkey <laughs> A monkey A monkey head. <laughs> that was uh, that was not my intention you there. You saw that but, monkey head. I would, we, got, we got contact Arlen Robotics right now. Arlen Let's Robotics. See if we can get the monkey head edition right. of the uh, blowjob if robot you can, to catch this fucking monkey on the you loose can, in Apopka, Florida. <laughs> if you can quadruple the fucking goal for the Arlen Robotics blowjob robot, you will get the monkey version. And if you're a monkey, and even if you've always wondered what it would be like to have a robot version of a monkey give you head, you can make it happen via... By the way, they actually don't have this Kickstarter, this Indiegogo. No, no, no. Uh, but they could. They I'm could. just wondering if this monkey made it to Ohio uh, from Florida. It would. Be, I mean, it's possible, right? It is. It is possible it's because some, there's a goddamn big Bigfoot statue missing in fucking Ohio right now. Yeah. So did this monkey steal the goddamn Bigfoot fucking statue or so what? So there is some ridiculous shit happening in Ohio right now. <laughs> North Lima, Ohio. Police uh, in Ohio are on the lookout for Beaver Beaver Township, I believe, which is ah. the fucking place I want to go because I Beaver want to go to Beaver Township. I enjoy beavers. Yes, yes, they have big teeth and they, you know, Ooh, make, I don't know about that. They make dams. The blowjob robot doesn't have big teeth. Yeah, she has really, <laughs> really weird mouth and shit. So I'll take the big teeth over that. But uh, yeah, so let's fucking talk about the goddamn motherfucking guy or gal i don't fucking know who is stealing fucking bigfoot statues what the fuck are you doing what are you doing why are you doing it some other some motherfucker is stealing goddamn bigfoot statues some lady fucking made these things they're fucking painted concrete there's fucking three different sizes there's a 42 inch there's a fucking 27 they're not even worth that much no like 50 to 150 bucks no it had to be the monkey there's a fucking babe. There's a baby fucking version of this thing. They're all fucking stolen. They're not really worth that much. And somebody fucking stole these things. You know what? I have always in my life wanted a Bigfoot statue, but mm-hmm. I'm not going to fucking steal it, man. If it's like $150 for like the 42 inch version. It, it seems like a lot of work. I mean, it looks pretty fucking badass, and I would probably pay $150 if I really wanted that goddamn Bigfoot yeah. statue. But I risk it. Just give them the money. Right. Seriously. Apple's got jobs opening up. Just give them the Seriously. money. Seriously. Go to Apple, get a goddamn job, and then <laughs> you can buy all the Bigfoot statues that you want. Um, we have been searching for the fucking Sasquatch for so long, and now we are forced to search instead for the regular ass fucking Bigfoot, the regular ass Sasquatch, uh, the fucking Yeti. We're instead looking for some goddamn shitty fucking concrete. I'll tell you what. They actually look kind of cool, so I don't want to say shitty. Yeah. I don't want to hate on this lady. She did nah. a good job. But uh, has anyone seen it? You know what? We have multiple ways. You can hit up the podcast. Oh, yeah. And you can let us know if you have if you put eyes on the Bigfoot statues, please let us know because they're still out there. They are M.I. fucking A. I think the monkey got it. The goddamn monkey. I don't trust that monkey. I that fucking monkey is fast. I don't trust that monkey. I'll tell you what. On that monkey thing, apparently, 
there is over 700 of these goddamn monkeys <laughs> over the past number of years that they have captured that have been out on the loose. These monkeys are out of fucking control. They have stealing statues. They have altered perception because they have been in a float tank. What the fuck? They're fucking taking ketamine and they're fucking like getting rid of their monkey depression. And, and they're on the loose. They are on the loose and they are in fucking just a crazy mindset. And, and if you don't believe us, there's a Ronald McDonald statue that just got fucking stolen. Actually, it just got recovered. My bad. God, and it's undamaged. It, it did actually. These fucking monkeys are out of control. God damn it. Somebody stop these motherfuckers. God damn it. So you stole the goddamn Bigfoot statue. And you, then they're going to go and steal Ronald McDonald's statue. You weren't fucking happy with just that. You didn't get your goddamn rocks off and your goddamn Bigfoot statue. Even this happened a year ago, but whatever, for the uh, sake of the story here. You stole a goddamn fiberglass. 250 pound statue of ronald fucking mcdonald damn in new jersey what the fuck were you thinking dude? this monkey is all over the place he's Ser- going from ohio florida to ohio to new jersey this is seriously 250 pound statue worth 500 bucks a ronald mcdonald statue in new actually jersey worth a lot more stolen. than that that is that is actually only the reward so they've actually recovered it now that is the reward oh my bad for tips leading to the apprehension of the Ronald McDonald fiberglass statue. I'll tell you what, it's a pretty fucking cool statue. This is crazy. I'm actually going to look it at... It looks good. I'm going to look at the picture as I fucking talk to you right now. Here I'm going. He's sitting on a little bench. I'm, He's got I'm his legs wait, oh, crossed. This is an adorable Ronald McDonald fucking statue. He's Very si- friendly. He's sitting on a bench. He's got a bunch of police officers around him. He's got one leg over the other. He's got his red ass shoes and his red ass hair. Got an adorable fucking red tie. He's got stripy fucking legs and fucking shirt. And, and somehow the monkey got a hold somehow of him. Somehow some motherfucking monkey or some fucking human that's sort of a monkey decided they were going to fucking steal him. So what the fuck were you thinking, Hamburglar? Come on, man. The monkey Hamburglar. He was dressed up in black and white. I saw him. You know what, Hamburglar? Let me, let me, let me send this message out Uh-oh. to you. Uh-oh. Ray's pissed. Stop sending... Your fucking was it Bill O'Reilly? Stop sending your fucking monkey army after fucking Bigfoot statues, after Ronald McDonald statues. We don't fucking want it, man. Stop stealing these fucking statues. We got man. we got fucking robots that are looking to fucking taking take over this goddamn world, take over our fucking jobs. They want to fucking perform <laughs> brain surgery <laughs> and. All they want to go to Saturn. They want to go to goddamn Saturn. We got fucking Terminator versions of them. They want to blow job robots. They want to give you a goddamn blow. Jo- well, you know what? I ain't mad let's, at that. Let, let, let's let's keep that going. But uh, yeah, for sure. We ham- love those kind of robots. Hamburglar. Spread love. Hamburglar. Well, we're going to spread something and it might be love and it might be something else. It might be secret sauce and where I'm going to spread it. I'm not going to tell you. I'll tell you what. I made a very important note on this fucking story, and I'm just going to lay it out there, Uh-oh. and we're going to fucking end it on this tip right here. Yeah. Hamburglar, fuck you, dude. Fuck the Hamburglar. Fuck you. Fuck you. We've never liked you. I like Grimace. Grimace <laughs> is fucking badass. He's fucking purple. He's so he's nice. Shaped, he's shaped like a fucking triangle. He lets me come over. I kick my feet up. We, <laughs> we chill and kick it, man. I don't want to hear what the Hamburglar does with you. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, Grimace. Grimace, I fucked that. He's all that. stealing shit uh, all the fucking time. But uh, Hamburglar... God damn it. Can't we just chill and hang out? Can we all just hang out and eat really fucking weird fucking beef patties with special <laughs> sauce and lettuce, Chicken cheese, McNuggets. and pickles? <laughs> Eddie wants to fucking... I just want my 20-piece and chill. Here's the deal. Eddie. 20-piece and chill. What's wrong with that? Eddie, Eddie laid it out there. He wants his $500 reward so he can get $500 Ooh. worth of McChicken. So <laughs> We can buy another mic with that motherfucker. We can buy a lot of goddamn things with that $500. And so God there it da- is. God damn it. Hamburglar. Stop doing what you're doing. And you know what? Don't though, because you're giving us fucking topics for days. Kendall Jenner, please continue to be the person ah, that you're being Kendall Jenner again. Blowjob robot. Please continue yes. to grow your. We should fu- plug that again. Yeah, absolutely. Arlen Robotics. Arlen. Fucking- I don't know the dot com, but uh, they're a little bit more than halfway there. If you yeah. want your blowjob uh, robot, man. Indie. Don't sleep. Indiegogo is uh, Indiegogo dot com slash projects uh, slash Arlen. It's uh, A R L A N. 
dash robotics dash service dash droid dash one dash zero dash sex dash <laughs> electric uh hashtag uh forward slash and if so, you haven't seen the video it's on youtube please go and check the this fucking, motherfucking blowjob robot don't quit <laughs> it will it's not got qu- the heart of a fucking lion <laughs> It go. It has a punishing 120 <laughs> miles per hour in which it will not stop. So I'm telling you right now, we don't fucking sleep. absolutely don't sleep. And with the the blowjob robot, there is no good goddamn way that you would be able to sleep. So you know Fuck what? No, with, actually, I'll probably sleep pretty good. When that yeah, yeah. Going. After the fact, but uh, you know what? With that being said, let's fucking uh, let's go home. Let's wrap it up. Absolutely. But, uh, iTunes.com. Yes. Search for us, Jerk of All Trades Podcast. Jerk of All Trades Podcast. Look us up. Stitcher.com slash Jerk of All Trades Podcast. We're on there now. Go hit us up. SoundCloud.com slash Jerk of All Trades Podcast. J-O-A-T Podcast.com. Check that website out. We have blogs. We got the archives. If you missed an episode, they are all there. Uh, Episodes one through six. This is episode number seven. J-O-A-T podcast.com. We got the media player up and running. Just click play. It's the newest episode. Right in your fucking ear holes. You we can't fucking miss it. love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all your fucking support. Things on the fucking Jerk of All Trades podcast are blowing the fuck up right we now. We love you guys. Like a goddamn bomb. And Stick we love with it. Us. Please, we fucking love you guys. And we will be here next week with another awesome episode with more fun fucking topics. And... Fucking hit us up. Tell us what's up. Yep. Uh, Jerk of all trades podcast go, at gmail.com. Fucking, uh, you know what? Check us out on fucking iTunes. Give us a fucking rating. Give us a five star rating. That's right. Yep. Uh, you know, rate us on fucking Stitcher. Give us a thumbs up. Absolutely. We would uh, we would definitely, definitely appreciate that. So, and uh, we will be back next week. Yes. We love you episode guys. Episode number eight. Yes. Episode number eight next St- week. And, you know, more fuckery, uh, more, more laughs, and uh, hopefully less booze. Uh, you know what? Maybe, or maybe not. Maybe a slightly lesser amount, but uh, <laughs> an almost equal. Amount, Always so. a good time at the Trick of All Pay- yes. Trick of All Trades podcast. Stick with us. We're sticking with you as long Absolutely. as you stick with us, and we will be back next week. Yes, we love you guys. We're out. Love you. Bye.